Nearly four out of five retail store owners say they lose $500 to $2,500 a month because of shoplifting. That's according to a recent study by Forbes. Now some of them are turning to AI to catch those shoppers in the act. CBS News Detroit's Jack Springgate is on your block in Port Huron, where he's putting the technology to the test. Shoppers who feel they can sneak a buy one, get one free deal past the counter might have a little bit more trouble sneaking it past these cameras. There's AI recognition technology installed with them, so even if I wanted to grab a snack on the go without paying for it, the owner will still know. You see the character Jack sliding snacks in his backpack. I'm definitely not getting away with this one. Store owners using Vision AI software will get a message just like this every time it detects someone pocketing some snacks. Vision is an artificial intelligence that you plug onto existing cameras to detect uh, gestures associated with potential shoplifting. So people putting item in uh, the jacket, trousers, backpack, or purse, for example. Its algorithm analyzes several different cameras all at the same time, looking for these subtle cues in a way the human eye just can't keep up with. First component is human detection with the red or green square you can, you can see in, around each person. The second component is called pause estimation to estimate the position of all the body parts. The third component is called object recognition uh, to detect a backpack, a purse versus a shopping bag or shopping cart. And all those components together, they will provide you with the probability of the occurrence of any gesture at any time. Since the technology is solely analyzing body movements, Koenig says Vision is better at avoiding bias when detecting shoplifters than those behind the counter. The algorithm doesn't care about what people look like. It cares about gestures. So it's going to look at body movements and uh, pick up on a gesture that it would be to uh, place an item in the jacket, in the trousers, in a backpack or a purse. So if I tried to pocket some chips without paying... That will generate a small video alert on the mobile phone of the store owner uh, in real time so that they can actually ask the client if they need help, if they need a basket so that people know they are being watched and so it probably deters the theft before it actually happens. Vision has made its way into 4,000 stores across the world, 500 here in the U.S., and that number is growing. That's something to think about next time you think nobody's looking. Reporting in Port Huron, I'm Jack Springate, CBS News Detroit.